Yo, what is going on guys? It's Matt here and in today's video what you guys are seeing is the last part of my Shiloh Cemetery walkthrough. Now you guys may be asking why is it so sped up and I'm going to answer that in a couple seconds. Let's get into it. So what you guys are seeing right now is the wall of fame for the map Shiloh Cemetery and I'm showing you guys this to show you guys that there is a guy on here named Pie Cake. Uh, he was number four, and basically what the challenge was for the number four spot was that you had to be the fastest to complete Shiloh Cemetery by round. So you had to get 85,000 points by, well, however fast you could. And he set the record at round 20. But I was like, dude, for some reason, I had to beat him. I was like, there's got to be a way to beat this guy. Because I looked at his YouTube channel, and I'm like, there's no way he got this. And I saw the video, and I'm like, man, he got this. So I got to beat him. And I'm like, how am I going to do it? Because this map is challenging. It really is. I went through so many strategies, not to try to beat him, but to just try and get gameplay of it. And none of them really worked. And when I actually had a good strategy going, and I decided that I wanted to go for this, I switched it up. I was like, instead of pack-a-punching things, instead of buying all these doors, I'm just going to settle for the two main perks, Quick Revive and Juggernog. And then I'm just going to use pistols because pistols give you the most amount of points since they take the longest to kill zombies. So you get like 10 points for each shot. And the only problem I ran into with this strategy is the fact that I had to keep running back and forth from different locations to get pistol ammo. So you guys can see right now I'm using the Elkar 9, but I decided to switch it up to the uh, Bloodhound, which is the starter pistol from Shadows of Evil, and obviously the MR6, which is the starter, the starter pistol, the starter pistol from uh, Black Ops 3. So that's really what got me um, in the spot where I am. He did say, I talked to the developer earlier today on Steam, and he did say, I can't show you guys the chat because I X out of it, and then it doesn't show you the whole conversation. It just gives you a blank box. But the developer did say that he's going by rounds for this, not by fastest time. I really made sure he clarified on that because it would, it would have sucked to upload this and then have it all be just for no reason. But uh, yeah, so hopefully you guys enjoy um, this map, if I had to give it my honest review, I'd say it's a really good map. And I say that the way I say it because I just, after a while, it just became annoying. Like, it's good to see something fresh. It's good to see, like, a nice maze in the map. And it's nice to have a challenge map. But I felt that the map was a little bit too challenging, especially for this challenge in the sense that not only doors cost about 5,000 points or they go up increasingly as you move on, but the guns cost 5,000 points. Upgrading your weapons cost 5,000 points. And all those points start to add up, which really gets, uh, it really makes doing challenges like this challenging. And after a while, it just got too challenging and really just kind of sort of annoying so if i had to give it my honest review it's a fresh map it's a great concept i really do think that it's good in short bursts with friends solo even yes i recommend it uh but i couldn't do this every single day i really could not the map is great but I could not play this every single day. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'm going to leave you guys with like some music or whatever. It's got like five more minutes of gameplay on here. So you guys, you guys can choose or not if you want to watch it. It's pretty much just me running in the starting room and running around the maze trying to get pistol ammo. Stuff like that. But I'm glad that I was able to fulfill this challenge. Probably won't be doing anything like this in the future. And until my next video, see you guys. Peace out. Thanks for watching.